This is a special laptop and the name clearly suggests so. This is a Dell Inspiron 14R special edition, updated with the new Ivy Bridge processors, more RAM, a better build quality, the works. Let me just run you through what this laptop looks and feels like. Straight away at the top, you really can't tell which is the front, which is the back. Because if you look from all sides, this laptop has a very, very similar dimension stack to it. It doesn't really thicken up at the back or slim at the front. It's even throughout. Good thing. We don't really mind it. Incidentally, do know that this is not a snap-on cover, even though this laptop has the feature. You, you can change this, but Dell India has confirmed to us that you should not change it. it. This is not supported for this particular laptop. Let me just run you through where the ports are. This side, you have a couple of USB 3.0 ports along with the HDMI out and the mic and headphone jack. A nice generous vent for for keeping the machine cool this is becoming a new trend the micro the memory card slot shifts to the front spine instead of anywhere on the sides this is probably to make it a little slimmer on the sides i don't really see the logic behind that but it's here nevertheless a bunch of leds here notification leds for your power your hard drive your battery and the wi-fi connectivity this side is the optical drive as well as another couple of USB 3.0 ports. So all in all, this machine has four USB ports and all four are USB 3.0. You're pretty much set for the future in that aspect. No ports on the back. We don't like the idea of ports being placed here and Dell has not dappled with that idea. Kudos. Another interesting element to this particular laptop is the speakers are towards the bottom, not exactly the bottom because when th there's a slight curve here and when they're placed flat, they're actually facing downwards but not really on the bottom panel. The performance is okay. The only thing is if you keep it on something like a hard surface like it is here, the glass or wood or something, the sound does tend to reflect a bit. But apart from that, absolutely no performance issues. Opening it up, the same feel here a nice matte black finish it's not exactly matte but it's not exactly glossy you can see a bit of fingerprints but this won't catch scratches like a glossy finish would the keyboard here we found that this was very very nicely spaced out you can probably make out that there's a little extra gap between individual keys now the reason for that is simple Dell has decided that the Increasing the key size doesn't really matter with the typing thing and they have reduced the key size in this one a little bit the result is You do not really feel that when you're typing. There's absolutely no performance Degradation at all. What in fact it does is it just gives you a little more space for your fingers to work around We typed on this keypad quite a bit and you can even type very quickly without any issues Good key travel, nice little solid HUD, and everything with this keypad seems to be perfect. No dedicated number pad though, because this is a 14 inch display and there's no real space for a dedicated number pad unless you sacrifice the rest of the keypad. As far as the touchpad is concerned, very, very good touchpad. It's got a lot of real estate for your finger to work around. Multi touch will work very well. And the best part is the right and the left click keys are separate. They're not integrated onto the touchpad. Generous amounts of palm rest area around the keypad. As you can see, there will be absolutely no issues with your hand hanging around outside the laptop or just making it uncomfortable when you're typing a long document. Three quick access keys here. Something that seems to be usually going out of fashion these days. The power key seems to be very well integrated with the rest of the silver on the other side. It, it almost is like the laptop display hinge kind of melted over and the power key sitting on that. 